So in Articulate Storyline we have the player. Now the player, I'll select it so you can see. This is the player. It's the look of the e-learning package when it's launched. How is it going to be laid out? So in the middle we have the slide. So this is the actual thing that the user is going to be using. But do you want this menu option down the left hand side here? Do you want a title? Do you want resources? Do you want all of these options along here? So it's up to you. And anything you want to remove, you click on it on the left hand side. So I generally get rid of the menu. And I get rid of the toolbar as well because I don't normally add in resources. Title, I'll remove that. Volume, I'll leave it on if I've got any audio in there or any videos. Accessibility controls, so I'll show you what these are. So this is zoom to fit, accessibility text. Keyboard shortcuts, you can leave that on if you want. Again, I'll remove it. And captions, so that's gonna be captions for any videos. And then I press OK. If I go back into there, I'll show you more options. So where we had resources, these are your resources here. So if you've added in any resources, and this might be a document, such as a list of definitions, you can add in the options here. Let's give it a title and add in a web page or add in a particular file and browse for it. And that'll be saved into this e-learning package. Other things to note, you've got the player style. So I'm gonna turn a few options on just so you can see more info. And let's play with the style. So currently we're in the modern style, but you can go for the classic, which has now got a previous and a next button, rather than just arrows. You can see the layout here. So this is what it used to look like in Articulate Storyline 2. I'll go back for the modern. You've got menu controls on and off. So again, you can see it re removes everything really. Colors and effects. Dark, which is what we've gone for. Light, which is a white around the outside. Or custom. And then again, you can change any of these if you want. So there's fonts as well for the actual player. The navigation button is icon, icon and text, or just text. So there we go, previous and next. Or with the arrows, or just the icons. If you are gonna be translating this into different languages, then I recommend just going for the icons because previous and next are not going to translate. So if you did translate the entire contents of the course, these elements of the player don't translate. So I'll go back to the style that I wanted. And I'll leave it as this. Remove the bits that I don't want. Something to note though, with this menu, if you click on the three lines here, it collapses the menu. And this is what happens when you actually preview or when you publish the course as well. So you do have that option. Once you made your changes and you're happy with it, press OK.